Hello and welcome to the training session. My name is Ashraf Ayad and I'll be working with you today with the MIP binary proxy. Before I get started, I want to mention out that with 2009 there is a way of creating proxies and uh, it's called assembly proxies. But just because we're talking about the uh, production shaders, I'm going to mention the MIP binary protein. So the proxy will be a way to create an object that will appear at render time only. For example, I will have a low polygon model for this creature, but when you render it, it will show up to be like this. So that will save you some loading time and translation time while you do your final render. I rendered a couple of images here for you. So this is how the creature will look like when it's rendered. And it has the texture, which is color, and bump, and displacement. And I also want to point out that this is how it will look like with just displacement, because we're going to pay attention to that when we do our tutorial today. So let's just close that. And I want to also point out in the outliner, I have two objects. One is the low. I'm just going to point it out, move it out a little bit like this so we can have a better view for both of them. This is just a low polygon model I created. It could be a cube, it could be anything. The point is I created something that will represent that shape so when I'm placing them out in my scene I kind of have a better feeling how big it is or which direction it's looking at. So this is my low poly and this is my high poly. All right, let's call that we have a better naming for it because we're going to need that name later. In order to create the binary proxy, it's very simple. You're going to select your object, go to the Control A to open the attribute editor, and under the name tab itself, not the shape node, but the name itself, under the transform attribute, you will see another section for Mentor Array. And since this is a uh, geometry shader, it will be under the geometry section in here. So we're going to go to the hyper shade, and under geometry. I should see MIP binary proxy. Just drag and drop middle mouse and you'll have it in here. Now you'll have a few options to work with. For the object file name, it's asking us where shall we output that file. At render time, when we do the render, it will output an, an MI file, a mental images file, that can reference it to it later. This you need to output in a specific path and you need to have that path correct. So for example, I'm outputting to my temp folder and I'm going to see temp.mi and you also want to pay attention that the file extension is important so when you write it down make sure that you have it correct we want to enable write geometry and then the geometry you want to mention which geometry we're going to be using so I'm just gonna make sure that I have this correct naming go back here and just paste it once I do that you will see this will icon will change to an arrow that means it was done correctly so now if I click here, it goes to the object correct. So back to my binary proxy, and I'm pretty much ready to go. So when you do your render, you want to make sure you do render. Let's go to the rendering menu. We want to do render, batch render, not from the render view. Also, a good indicator when you're working that everything is working fine, that I'm opening my location where I'm placing my temp file or my MI file, and I should see it appearing in here. So let's do render. Render is complete. I'm going to go check in my temp. So the first thing I noticed, there was no MI file. That tells me something went wrong. And for that, you need to pay attention to where the object placed. So I have the high res object underneath the low poly in the hierarchy here in the outliner. So I'm just going to middle mouse, drag it on top of it. And I'm going to repeat the process again. Render, batch render. So rendering is complete. Now I'm going to go check my temp. And I see, oh, there's a new file here. And as you see, the size of it is about 37 megs. What that tells me is the process went correctly. So this is something you want to pay attention to when you're doing your render. So once it's done, and we now we enable that process, I'm just going to go back to the attribute editor for the MIB binary proxy. And I don't want to write the geometry anymore. Matter of fact, I want to read it. So I'm just going to disable the write the geometry. I'm leaving everything. Now you can delete this if you want, but we're going to leave it for comparison. And I'm just going to render that. So you see now the render came in fine. A couple of things you want to pay attention to. A, it came out with the subdivision along with the displacement, but it didn't bring the color. And that's very important because this object actually has a subdivision approximation. And that got translated in here along with the displacement map. It didn't take the color. So if I have multiple colors ready to go in, I'm just going to assign one of them even though that the UVs are all messed up in here because this object doesn't have proper UVs. When I render, the rendering is coming fine now. Final gather fine. 
the sky and shadow are working fine also and you'll see now the colors has been assigned correctly so what you want to pay attention to is that all you have to do is to create different shaders for example here that will have color values and bump or anything such as this if I want to use the same shader that I assigned in here for example but before I render I want to point out that this shader has displacement in it and now my holdout file or object has also a displacement in it. You're gonna have a conflict here in render and that might put your render at halt. So if you're gonna use that then I'm just gonna disable that displacement and render again and you'll see this object now will have displacement and this one won't. So let's render. So you see now this object has the original displacement that was from the MI. This one lost it because we disabled it and it has the color and the bump map and the render time we have is about 22 seconds so let me open a file that I placed multiple objects that referencing the same thing so if I'm gonna delete this one I'm just gonna explain the theory first so this object now has the connection proper but if I want to duplicate it let's say uh, duplicate and move this object doesn't have any geometry shader so I can go in and connect the same geometry shader in the hypershade one by one or let me delete that do edit duplicate special and I say I want duplicate input connections and when I say hit apply just move it a little bit and go to my geometry shader you will see it's connected to the binary proxy correctly and it's calling the same file so if I render these guys you see they came out nicely and I didn't get a lot of render time difference and the point is that you can now have a whole wide of collection of them because I have in my hypershade multiple variation of that color so I can give them different colors and that will give you different illusion it's a different object for example if you have a wide a range of creatures that's been in a forest or something and you want to make them all look different so you, all you have to do is just create different shaders and just assign them again what I point out don't mix displacement on it because it, you will be doubling the displacement and that might give you a conflict so you see you have two different creatures even though it's the same geometry but different color shaders one also important point that I should mention let me undo a couple of times here when you're doing your work you want to make sure that you are writing from a geometry that is one shape node such as this if it is under a group for example if I say group and you're gonna try to write to that main one and uh, let's call this temp2 so because I don't want to override mine and so I should have enabled write to geometry render batch you will see nothing been written out just because this is under a group node so that's you always refer to your writing out folder if it doesn't come out you notice something went wrong in the process so let me undo this process and matter of fact let me open a new file it contains multiple objects 